you could call it like an expanded universe, like a Star Wars or Marvel expanded universe, where all these playwrights and poets would just write their interpretations of ancient stories or write new myths. And so there is just a ton of really cool content. I don't have the brain capacity to remember the names of Greek playwrights right now. Oh, oh no. Maple Potato. Hey everyone, Maple here. I am playing Hades. Uh, I've done a little bit, as you can see, I've got, got 10 runs done. Um, but I'm going to start a new game. This is a little project I wanted to start. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. Just gonna I, however, be quiet for mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. This game is Goodbye, just Father. beautiful. Tartarus, huh? Interesting. I'll uh, I'll touch on place. that in a second. This is by um, Supergiant Games, who also made Transistor. I love these little souls. <laughs> They're really cool. Um, <clears throat> and they have a reputation for making just astonishingly beautiful games. And as you can see, this is no exception. I don't actually usually play this type of game. Uh, I'm not super good at the kind of isometric, top-down, roguelike type game, but I just had to play this because, I mean, I love ancient Greek mythology and oops, already bad. There we go. Got him. And uh, it just looked really freaking good. And I bought it, and I was not disappointed. This this game is so fun to play. So this is uh, the game I'm going to play while... Ah. Oh. While Potato and our Tato Tart are asleep, because uh, I like to stay up a little later. And so this is what I'm going to do while I do that. And I hope you guys enjoy it. There she is. All right, who have we got here? It's to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Yo, now, Athena. From that miserable place, I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Goddess of wisdom. So Athena is one of the Olympian goddesses. Uh, she is the daughter of Zeus, and she's also associated with uh, handicrafts and warfare. And so she's pretty commonly known as a kind of like a warrior goddess. And one of the things I just adore about this game is the care and thought they put into all of the character design and the god design. She's got like the shield, uh, but she also has these little elements of... Um, crafting there's the owl for the representation of wisdom and yeah it's just it's just an inspired design i love it all right so what are we gonna do here <clears throat> uh divine strike your attack is stronger and can deflect can we get the dash yes the deflect dash uh i've only used it once but i really like it this is gonna let me uh bounce attacks back at enemies which is extremely helpful especially for the boss which i've only beaten once he is skull dudes so we are in um tartarus which is um interesting it's not technically part of the underworld i mean this uh this whole game uh the whole point obviously is escaping from hades which is the there we go. There's that dash in action. Love it. Um, in the name of the god of the underworld, but also of uh, has become associated as the you know name of the underworld itself. So uh, Tartarus is actually below the underworld in the mythology. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying any of this to like criticize the way they've interpreted the game. I think this game is freaking magical. But I think it's cool to think about talk about where like. All this stuff comes from it's it's really neat to see how they've interpreted the original myths 
because a lot of the Greek myths are a little bit confused. We don't have a whole ton of information about all of them, most of them, and they've been interpreted by uh, in various different ways by even even the ancient Greeks. So uh, seeing all this is pretty cool. Okay, we can get a key. I think we should go for the key. Each exit has its own reward. So back to Tartarus. It's uh, I think if I remember rightly, according to the mythology, it's um, as far below the underworld as the earth is from the heavens. And I'm pretty sure it's where Zeus stuck his dad, Kronos, after he uh, defeated him. Kronos was the titan that uh, birthed Ser fathered. He didn't birth him, obviously, though. Wouldn't put that kind of thing past Greek mythology. It gets kind of weird. Um, let's see. I think he was he fathered like five of the Olympian gods. Um, there are several like classes of deity in Greek myths. You've got the Titans, which were um, not quite the originals. There were the before the Titans. There was the um, Oh, frick, what are they called? Uh, I think they're the primordial gods. And they gave birth to the Titans. Titans gave birth to uh, the original Olympians, uh, which include Zeus, Hades, Hera, uh, Demeter, I think? I'll have to check that when I get a second. Ah, there we go. Nice. What do we... Ooh. <gasps> Dionysus! Yes! Do oh I skipped that I shouldn't skip that. Man, how's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. <laughs> nice. I love the kind of um like the dude style uh characterization of Dionysus here. That's pretty common. Um Dionysus is often sort of thought of as this kind of like fun loving party god but um he was a dick if you go back to some of the uh, original legends and some of the plays he was interpreted he he was one of the younger gods and so he has a bit of like small dog syndrome i guess uh let me pick my perk first and i'll uh i'll get i'll get a little further into it let's see hangover is a damage over time uh ch -ch -ch my attack. Don't. I'm just going to go with the basic damage over time on the attack. That seems to work pretty nicely. So, to Dionysus' small dog syndrome, he's one of the younger gods, and he was kind of a dick about people not really wanting to worship him, um, and he put some pretty harsh punishments down on uh, people and oh I am really screwing this up um, anyone who refused to recognize him basically oh Jesus I'm really screwing this up oh man all right I need to focus for a second here Ooh. the deflection works pretty nicely here we go here we go all right Oh no! That was terrible. I'm talking too much about mythology and not paying attention to the game. Um, See, so yeah, his punishments are pretty cruel. Um, I'm home. Back we are in the house of Hades. Everyone, don't mind me. So back to Dionysus is a dick. <laughs> uh, the playwright. Uh, Euripides, I think, wrote a play called The Bacchae. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Bacchae, Bacchae. There's these group of like, weird cultists known as the Maenads who are just, like, mad with uh, Dionysus' influence. Welcome to the House of hey, Hypnos. Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. The voice acting in this game is uh, 
also superb. We'll get to who Hypnos is later after I finish this story because it's a freaking good one. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, at the time, uh, I think his name is Pentheus, the king of Thebes manages to offend Dionysus by uh, spying on and planning to kill the Maenads who were his, um, his followers. Oh, this is Nyx. Such a cool inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. Though, tell me, has the goddess Athena thus been true to her word? She has, Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact and explained to her the situation that I'm in. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. It was the least that I could do. The Olympians typically do not involve themselves in underworld affairs, yet your circumstances seem to do cause for an exception. They shall make powerful allies, but reveal to them no more than they already know. For all our sakes. I understand. So as punishment for uh, daring to look upon his followers, Dionysus has the Maenads rip this dude apart, like tear him limb from limb, and he also turns uh, Pentheus's sister into a, uh, basically like a Maenad herself. He makes her uh, maddeningly drunk on his influence. Um, and tricks her into thinking that Pentheus is a uh, mountain lion that she herself killed. And so she grabs his head and believing it to be the trophy of her kill, parades it through the streets of Thebes and presents the trophy uh, of her brother's head to their father. So Dionysus is a dick. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. Nice. <clears throat> There's a lot of lore and stuff to get through. House of Hades. That dark and I love this narration. Layer of the underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. <laughs> a little bit of... Uh... Fourth wall breakage there, I like it. Hypnos asleep. Very nice. So, uh, Hypnos and Nyx here are the primordial gods I was telling you about uh, earlier. Oh, look at Cerberus. Look at the puppy. <gasps> look at the puppy. Watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know, I'd take it if I could. Oh, what a sweet little boy. <clears throat> and so Nyx is, I think, one of the originals. Um, and is supposed to be a goddess of such immense power that even Zeus is afraid of her. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? <laughs> I love this interpretation of Hades. Uh, he's often, uh, in popular culture, especially like, you know, if you've watched Disney's Hercules or whatever, <clears throat> Hades is portrayed as a villain figure. But in the mythology, he's actually um, even altruistic at times, more just kind of uh, cold. And um, if you had to put him in, uh, I'm going to go super nerd on you here. If you had to put him in terms of a D&D &D alignment, he'd be more like lawful neutral, where he's very set in his ways, and one of his ways is no one leaves the underworld. And that's what we're trying to do. So he's mad about it, but he's not evil. So um, that's... Greetings, Father. My ransacking was a delight. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go. See for yourself. I think that's one of the reasons that Hades is just letting us, you know, as he said, ransack the underworld. Um, cool. Nice to meet everyone. I love the, the character design of Nyx. God, it's so cool. Hypnos, too, to be honest. Hey, Room. I'm back. Hey, Room, I'm back. I love this interpretation of 
Zagreus as this sort of... The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting <laughs> that he pick everything up. Just like that. Zagreus is a Zagreus is basically a teenager. <clears throat> Night and darkness guide me. Alright. Let's do I like this one, the vitality. It means that every time we enter into a new room, we'll uh get a little bit of health back. Not much, but uh, every little counts in a game like okay. this. Okay, so we're gonna unlock the bow. Um, Koronacht, the heart seeker. Let's deal some the depth. Okay. This is my least favorite weapon, but it's the only weapon I've actually managed to beat the harpy on. So, harpy, um, the fury on. So, and I can escape through that. Uh, dash strike. Okay. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. <laughs> I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If you insist. All right, this episode has been a lot of me talking so far. Let's get some to some more gameplay. Thunder. Ooh. Is that... <clears throat> Looks like we're about to meet Zeus. Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Nice with the lightning bolt and everything. Love it. And he's not so much as called in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. So even though he's uh, king of the Olympian gods, he's actually the youngest sibling um, of the original Olympians. Uh, that'd be him, himself, uh, Hades, uh, Demeter, Hera, uh, I think Poseidon as well. Um, yeah, Poseidon is, is also his brother. And there's one more, I think. I'll have to look it up at some point. <clears throat> but he was the the only one who Kronos didn't immediately eat after <laughs> after they were born. So he actually freed the rest of his gods, and that's the rest of the Olymp Olympian gods, his siblings. Um, oh, Thunder Dash. I like the special. Lord Uncle Zeus lending the special of this. Oh. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, or yeah. Night, whenever. That's going to be helpful. So the basic attack is like this charge uh, charge attack that kind of relies on the timing. So it can be a little... The bow is difficult, but with the right... Woo -hoo -hoo. Basically, I just spam my heavy attack uh, on the Y button because it seems the easiest way to do it with this particular weapon. I'm sure as I learn the game, I'll uh, work out the nuances of it a little bit more. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So this will let me upgrade. So uh, the doors give me uh, this looks like a Poseidon boon. So you can kind of learn uh, by the symbols what you're going to get in each room. I'm still kind of working on that. All right. Ah. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, if you time this uh, basic attack right, you get a little bit of a damage boost, which ooh, can be nice. I hate the skulls. They're very annoying. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got it. The mythology goes that after Zeus and the other gods, after he freed uh, his brothers and sisters and they <clears throat> banded together to defeat the Titans, which, if you remember, were the uh, children of the primordial gods. So the hierarchy goes like uh, Nyx and Hypnos is Nyx's son. 
So, like, Nyx and the other Primordials, then the frickin' Titans, like Cronus, um, <clears throat> and then the Olympians. It's Uncle Number Two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. One thing you learn quickly about Greek mythology is everyone is related to one another, and it creates some pretty weird incestuous things happening. I guess gods will be gods, I guess. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Dower underworld, I love it. So after they defeated, after the Olympians defeated the Titans, <clears throat> um, Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon drew lots to decide which um, realms they would govern. Uh, Zeus obviously picked, uh, drew the lot for the realm of the heavens, making him the king of the gods, king of the Olympian gods. Poseidon drew the sea, and Hades drew the underworld. Um, he wasn't super happy about that, I don't think, but he, he took it. Uh, this is a rare one. Your attack deals more damage and knocks was away. Eh, that's just the X attack, right? I don't know about that. Let's take it and see how it does. Like I caught a big one. The power of the sea should be of help. Ooh, a key. I like key rooms. You use the keys to unlock new weapons. Ooh, actually, that's pretty useful. Who else? Nice, 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 nice. <clears throat> the interesting thing about us playing Zagreus um, is that there isn't a whole lot of information about Zagreus in the mythology. I think that's probably why they chose to use him as the protagonist i obviously i don't know but it would oh god it would make sense to me ouch i am really sucking right now oh ho, ho. no oh no oh no um this can unlock something back home having him be the son of uh, hades can't heal myself Ooh, another I zeus i like him is one of several possible explanations for uh who he is there's even one interpretation that uh says he is hades himself in disguise um i would be very surprised if that was the case for this game but um it's super interesting that they chose chose this character it makes sense because there's just so little really known about him this run is not so well Hmm. Let's try that. Thunder I like life. a larger area for lightning bolt. Buzz. Yeah. That's going to affect our special, which is the uh, AoE, which will be very nice. Is this a thing I can... No, it's not. Every so often, rooms have things you can interact with. Um, I'm really bad at recognizing them. Wretches. Oh, no. Ooh, that's... That's pretty nice. Farewell. I like not that too. Nope. Nice. That was not a bad room. Oh, there's more. Oh boy. No, no, no. Oh, boy. So, yeah, the point of this game appears to be just, you know, escape the, uh, escape the underworld. Ah. What's this? Oh, okay. That's some currency. Is there another door? No. And so, I am assuming we're going to be going through various underworld realms, because there are... Oh, oh. Uh, several realms, um, along with a few different rivers. So I'm super excited to see... Ow, what the heck is that? Who we're going to meet and where we're going to go. See all the sights. This is going to be a fun playthrough. I hope you also... Ah! 
hope you also think so. No. Okay. So, got one. And I need I need to warm up before I start playing for the recording because I am awful. Damn it. I'm trying to play a little conservatively. Let's see if I can beat this freaking boss. No. Oh, it's not even a boss, it's like a sub boss of this floor. There we go. Gotcha. All right, Dionysus. What do you got for me? Look, I know you're not in a good spot right now. You must be really out of sorts. So maybe this might numb the pain a bit. Such a cool character. Just every design I've seen from whichever character it is. Uh, ooh, creepy shot. Your cast lobs are developers in festive fog. That's a stun. Eh. Ooh. Since this is kind of a bad run anyway, I'm actually going to take this premium vintage. Um, I don't know what that stuff is, Ambrosia or something. But I can give that. Who should I give this to? Oh, increase the melee max life. That's nice. Let's go for key. I can give that to characters to unlock uh, something. I forget what you unlock. Oh, no. You really think you can get out of Hi, this? Daddy. 